so today we are going to see the topic aromaticity aromaticity is a very simple topic you can score out of okay whenever you have questions from aromaticity you can easily attend and score full marks first of all in order to find out whether the given compound is aromatic or not because they will ask like which of the following is aromatic which of the following is anti aromatic okay so in order to find out whether the given compound is aromatic anti aromatic or non aromatic we have some basic conditions if you know the condition you can easily find out the given compound firstly this aromaticity concept is applicable to only cyclic compounds okay so if you want to find out the aromaticity then the compound should be cyclic this is the first condition our compound should be cyclic we cannot find the aromaticity uh, in linear compound like acyclic uh, chains okay we can find out the aromaticity in only cyclic compounds this is the first condition the second thing is the compound should be planar okay the compound should be planar what do i mean by planarity all the carbon atoms should be either sp2 hybridized or sp hybridized okay so all the carbon should be either sp2 or sp this is what the planar means okay next third one is they should have conjugation of pi electrons so what do i mean by conjugation it is nothing but alternate double bond single bond double bond single bond the alternate nature of this is known as conjugation okay if any one of these fails okay if, if suppose the given compound is not planar or doesn't have conjugation then the compound is said to be non planar i hope you are clear with the concept see we have three basic conditions for aromaticity the compound should be cyclic and then the compound should be planar and it should have conjugation of pi electrons if one of these conditions fails then the compound is non planar compound will be non planar okay if suppose we have cyclic compound and it is planar to but it doesn't have conjugation it has non it doesn't have conjugation of pi electrons suppose if conjugation is absent then the compound is non aromatic i hope you guys are clear right if any one of these three conditions fails the compound will be non planar okay if these conditions satisfies okay if the given compound satisfies all the three conditions then we have two possibilities either the compound should be aromatic or anti aromatic okay i will give you an example so that you will be clear with the concepts suppose if the given compound is this it is nothing but cyclopentadiene okay here there is breakage of conjugation like this is double bond this is single bond again here you should have double bond but here there is single bond right hence there is no conjugation this compound is non planar see this compound is cyclic yeah it is cyclic okay it is planar actually here uh, the carbon is sp3 hybridized so it is non planar okay suppose our compound satisfies all the three rules okay if suppose the particular compound is already cyclic and then it is it has non uh, it has conjugation of pi electrons and it is also planar okay the first three rules satisfies in the sense we have two uh, options either the compound will be aromatic or that particular compound will be anti aromatic okay so this we will decide based on a rule which is known as huckel's rule okay huckel's rule so if either any one of the three basic conditions fails in the sense that particular compound will be non aromatic if all the three conditions satisfies then we go for huckel's rule what huckel's rule states it's very simple very simple that uh, it should possess 4n plus 2 pi electrons if it possess 4n plus 2 pi electrons then the particular compound will be aromatic what is that 4n plus 2 pi electrons it is very simple if we sub just uh, uh, try to substitute values for n if suppose we are going to substitute zero okay if i substitute instead of n zero what will we get two pi electrons because 4 into 0 zero and plus 2 we will get 
2 right suppose if i'm going to substitute 1 hmm? if i'm going to substitute 1 then 4 into 1 4 4 plus 2 6 so 6 pi electrons then if i'm going to substitute 2 okay 4 into 2 8 plus 2 10 so we will have these number is said to be Huckel's number these 2 6 10 14 18 these numbers are said to be just add 4 okay just starting number is 2 then add 4 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 10 4 10 10 plus 4 14 so it is very simple these numbers are said to be Huckel's number whenever you get this Huckel's number like 2 6 10 14 18 22 these compounds are said to be aromatic okay whenever you have a compound with a, a 2 pi electrons or 6 pi electrons or 22 pi electrons that particular compound will be aromatic uh, for anti-aromatic you will get 4 n pi electrons which is nothing but the multiples of 4 okay 4 pi electrons 8 pi electrons See the uh, rules are very simple, it should be cyclic, planar and should possess conjugation. If any one of these conditions fails, then that particular compound will be non-aromatic. But all the conditions satisfy, then go for Huckel's rule. When you get the number 2, 6, 10 and uh, these kind of uh, pi electrons, then that particular compound will be aromatic. If you count and you get the four multiples of 4, then that particular compound is anti-aromatic. You will be very clear when I give examples for you. So, take this example. For in this example, cyclic, yeah, it is planar, it has conjugation. But count the number of pi electrons, 2 pi, another 2 pi. So 4 pi electrons because 2 bonds, 2 double bonds in the sense, 4 pi electrons. It is multiples of 4, right? Hence that particular compound is anti-aromatic. Okay, that particular compound is anti-aromatic compound. Okay, very simple. Now I am going to give few examples. See, in this two case, the first compound, let me name this compound. Okay, so in compound A, it is cyclic, right, yes, it is cyclic. Then it is planar, yes, of course it is planar. I have already told you that if the conjugation is broken and it doesn't have any charge, then that particular compound will be non-planar and non-aromatic. But here, we are having charges. Whenever you have charges, that is very easy, okay, just listen to me. It is very easy. See here, the compound is cyclic. The compound A is cyclic. And if you have charge consider that particular uh, uh, compound is uh, a planar, okay? So here, all these carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. Hence, it is planar, right? So it is planar. Then, we have to count for pi electrons. We have to count pi electrons. Here, in the first case, 1 double bond, 2 double bond, right? 2 double bond in the sense 4 pi electron because 1 bond carries 2 electrons. So here 4 pi electrons. And additionally, whenever you have this negative charge, negative charge indicates 2 electrons. So you have to include those 2 electrons also. Hence, we have 6 pi electrons in the first case. I have already told you that Huckel's number, 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Whenever you have Huckel's number, it will be aromatic compound, right? I have told you like 2, 6, 10, 14, these are Huckel number. Hence, uh, in the first compound, we got 6. It is aromatic compound, okay? Now, we are moving to the compound B, okay? Compound B is cyclic. Yes, it is cyclic. Compound B is planar. Yeah, it is planar. But count the pi electrons. It is 2 double bonds, 4 pi electrons. We should not include the positive charge because it doesn't mean, uh, like, it doesn't have electrons. You have to include only lone pair of electrons and the negative charge, okay? I hope you are clear with the concept. Let me give you few examples. Okay. So benzene. It's a popular compound, right? So here, yeah, it is cyclic. Yeah, all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. And then, it is of course planar, right? Because all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. They are planar. They are cyclic. Then it has conjugation of pi electrons. Yeah, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. So it has conjugation of pi electrons. So all the rules. Uh, all the rules. It's satisfied, okay. So next, we are seeing 4 and plus 2 pi electrons because here it has 6 pi electrons, right? 
टू फोर सिक्स सो इट हेज सिक्स पाई इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एक्चुअली यू हेव टू वर्क लाइक फोर एंड प्लस टू ईक्वल टू सिक्स विच मीन्स फोर एंड इज ईक्वल टू सिक्स माइनस टू फोर एंड एन इज ईक्वल टू actually it will be like 4n plus 2 equal to 6 then 4n equal to 6 minus 2 n is equal to 1 you have to find it like this actually it is no need for competitive exam okay for competitive exams it is very simple you just uh, remember that uh, multiples of 4 if you get 4 8 12 16 then the particular compound will be uh, anti aromatic in nature okay anti aromatic but if you have huckel's number 2 6 10 14 18 these are no uh, these compounds will be aromatic and these compounds will be anti aromatic okay this is very simple like okay further i will give you some examples okay uh this particular compound is known as cyclopropenyl cation because uh, it has three carbon so it is propene and uh, due to double bond it is cyclopropene and we have cation so it, it is cyclopropenyl cation okay in this example it is cyclic yeah it is cyclic and it possesses all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized uh, whenever you have charge no need to check the planarity and all of course it will have a planarity okay it will have a planar nature so you have to just notice that whether the particular compound possesses charge or not if it doesn't have charge and it has sp3 hybridized carbon atom like if i draw this example like this uh, if i draw uh, like this here now there is no charge hence it possesses sp3 hybridized carbon if it has charge then it is very simple that particular compound will be either aromatic or anti aromatic okay if it doesn't have charge it will be non planar and the particular compound will be non aromatic but if it has charge then we can go for the huckel's rule now just count the number of pi electrons it has only one double bond which means two pi electrons which is a huckel number then the particular compound is aromatic okay so this compound is aromatic cyclopropenyl cation okay mm, then we move on to another example cyclo hepta trienyl cation it is otherwise known as tropelium okay it is commonly known as tropelium cation here also see this compound is cyclic yeah all the carbon atoms are sp2 yes next it has conjugation of pi electrons count the number of pi electrons 2 4 6 6 yeah it possesses six pi electrons then it is aromatic i hope you are clear with the uh, aromaticity concept i will provide then few examples in the next class okay thank you